Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode of Tech Tips, I'm gonna show you how to set up a basic PA system. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because there's gonna be a lot more tech tips coming in future videos. And make sure you smash that like button, all right? So you're having a party and you're in charge of the music. Here is what you will need for a simple basic PA setup. First off, you need a mixer. I have a Behringer Xenix 502 analog mixer here. Very, very basic. You can use any analog or digital mixer. This does the job. You'll also need a microphone. This is an SM58 Shure microphone, quite possibly the most popular most reliable microphone on the planet but you can use any microphone wired or wireless an audio source for the music right here I'm using my cell phone but you can also use an iPad your laptop or an iPod you need a speaker or speakers all depending on how many people are at your party right here I'm using a QSC K12 speaker for demo purposes. Two XLRs, one is for the microphone and the other one is from the mixer to the speaker. And because my mains from the mixer are quarter inch, I have attached a quarter inch adapter into one of the XLRs. You also need this cable. It's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to dual RCA cable. This is for your audio input source. An IEC power cable for your speaker. A power bar to plug in all the power. Okay, so before we deal with the power, we're gonna plug in everything else first. So the first thing we plug in is our microphone. Get our microphone. Plug that in on the XLRs. Plug the other side. The male goes into the female on the first mic channel. There you go. Microphone set up. Next, we're gonna plug in the audio source, which is my cell phone. I'm gonna plug it straight into the headphone jack, this 3.5 millimeter in there. Um, if you're dealing with the, the new iPhones and um, they don't have the, the headphone jack, um, you can get a dongle for it. So the dongle is an adapter that you connect to the, to the iPhone and then you can connect the headphone jack inside that dongle and it works the same way. Okay, now we get the RCAs. And um, see there's a CD tape and there's an input output. Input means the audio source is going in. So we're gonna go in red with red and yellow with a white. Okay, so audio source is now ready to go. Okay, and then next we have our mixer. We're gonna connect our mixer now to the speaker. So because the mains here are a quarter inch, I have a quarter inch adapter attached to the female side of the XLR. So I'm gonna put in either one because we only have one speaker. So I'm putting it in the left. So if you have another speaker, you essentially just going to put it to the right side, this side, and then connect it to the other speaker. Now I'm going to connect the other end, the XLR male, into line B of my QSC K12. Okay, all good. Last thing we have to do is connect the power. So I'm going to connect the power for the speaker, I have the IAC cord, 
it's gonna connect it in. Okay, power is connected. Now I'm gonna connect the power for the mixer. Now this mixer specifically doesn't have a power button, so it comes with an included cable, power, power cable, which I'm plugging in now. And as you can see, power it up. Okay, so now we're gonna check everything. Oh, I'm gonna power up now the speaker. Speaker, power up. Perfect, power it up. Okay, now let's start to, to turn up the levels. Okay, we're gonna go with the main mix first. Let's go halfway. Um, we're gonna check the microphone right now. So I'm gonna put the microphone, let's say around a third. And then I'm going to put the speaker around a third as well. So I'm gonna flip the switch and check if the microphone's working. Check, 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 check. Check, perfect, okay. So awesome, we have a microphone, we have sound. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check our audio source now. Let's, okay, I'm gonna check it. Okay, song. I'll make sure the CD, the tape, um, button is pushed on and pretty much the main mix is pretty much your um, volume for your audio source I'm gonna press play now there you go and you have music so we're good So I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. And if you got something out of that video, learn something new, please smash that like button. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do. And if you think someone can benefit from this video, please share it. All right. So a lot more tech tips coming up in future videos. Keep an eye out for those. And uh, we'll see you guys later. DJ9 signing off. Peace.